Buenos dias, hello everyone, this is Glenn Urban, Earth Spanish, and this is a video about setting up grading scales inside of Schoology that are not your typical grading scales. For example, if you had a class that was uh, more focused on mastery learning, um, or a gamification type of environment that you wanted to go ahead and set up uh, within the course, you can do that inside of Schoology. This video was inspired by Paul Schlangen, my friend uh, here at Sock Rapids, who basically showed me some different things about being able to use either words, descriptive things, instead of a letter grade, or being able to use symbols uh, or images, in, again, instead of using a, uh, a letter grade. So let's take a look at, basically, I'm inside of grade setup right now inside of Schoology. Typically, you'd go over here to the right-hand side, and you'd be on scales and you could just press add a scale and again typically we would, what we would do is by percentage or by points you would start typing in and basically creating a grading scale let's show you a typical grading scale like this one of sock rapids rice high school where it just basically goes through a plus through f this is our district grading scale if you wanted to change that for whatever it might be for us for the purposes of your class or your course or your professional development uh, to something that would feel more like mastery learning or mastery learning environment or something that would feel more like gamifying something then all you would do there's a couple things you can do one of the things that i found is if you go add scale like i did just a second ago and you click points instead of uh naming this like for example the scale name could be called uh, leveling up and for whatever number of points that someone earned they would receive a specific description so that would be a cool way of being able to go ahead and show progression as far as in a course or a class okay uh, you could do it that way the one that I thought was really really cool was uh, Paul was showing me a way to be able to and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one right here this gamification one where you can have instead of letter grades you can have symbols so that a student uh, we could even set it up where the student would only see uh, oh, the wrong one here would only see the actual image so only show the letter grade so these letter grades here instead of seeing some sort of percentage and the reason why you might want to go ahead and do that is um, grades or letters can be discouraging to a student for example if they say oh you have uh, a D or even if you have a, a, a number let's say you were the, you had a five point mastery grading scale and you're now three out of five everybody's first instinct is to say though you might tell them that three means uh, that they've uh, achieved specific types of progress three out of five to most people they immediately make that conversion it means 60% but what if instead the only thing that they saw was were these type of symbols? And so what Paul has done is he's used uh, Unicode. If you don't know what Unicode is, there is a site basically that will let you take any of these types of symbols and just copy them and then paste them right into these letter grades and then they actually stay true to the form itself. So sometimes you might grab an image and put it into these kind of loose areas here and it doesn't really work. You have to go to the Unicode uh, Unicode type of website and this one is called uh, jrgraphics.net and I'll make sure that I include that uh, link there for you in the description of this video. But anyway, basically what you do is you just copy it, for example, this little weird face thing and then I can paste it right into here. So let's go ahead and edit this one and paste it right there. You can see that little symbol is now there instead of a, again, a letter grade or some sort of number. This would be a great way of gamifying a course, I thought. So you would see a progression. In this case, it would be like chess symbols here. Uh, but you could do all kinds of really, really cool ideas. I've seen some Harry Potter type of themes uh, and those types of things where you can see someone progressing from uh, a lower level all the way up until really, really high levels. And the way that they do that is through this specific grading scale. If you have any other questions, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista. Oh, my God.